my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again You came in my life Charlie and I are getting ready for our fall garden and we really wanted to try to have an earth garden and do some raised beds this year. So our little niece Ren came over to help us drop some seeds into the ground. Are you ready to plant? Yeah. All right. Good job, right Perfect. in the trench. Kick it. Yay, oh, Ren, you God. did it. Florida is known to have some crazy weather, especially around this season. So we did get rained out with our earth garden and there was just no way we could get it done, but we still plan on doing our raised beds. To have chores to do and get stuff done, it's not the worst view. It's beautiful. Later that morning, we headed over to our Poppy and Granny's house where they have pear trees, which was so fun for us to pick pears and we got a really good amount. These are called sand pears. They grow really well in Florida. You don't really want to eat them directly, but they're great for canning. They're also really good for making butters. So I added some brown sugar and some cinnamon to my Instapot and made some yummy pear butter. And then I had tons of compost to put into our raised garden beds and I also made a pear dessert for Charlie's birthday. Good morning friends. It is beach day. We're heading today to just relax near Clearwater and St. Pete Beach for the day and then we're going to be going out to dinner with my dad who's staying out there for the weekend so it will be nice to just meet up with him. And we're going to celebrate Charlie's birthday a little more. Got all his GoPro gear. He just tried out the mouth hold with that little floaty thing on it. So it'll be fun for him to play with that at the beach. spots fresh kitchen and then a few days later we were able to go to a Michael Buble concert we were gifted some tickets and that was a really fun experience our friends Troy and Sonny also have a birthday in the same month as Charlie so we met them and their son Reed up at the butterfly atrium and it was a really beautiful experience seeing all the different species of butterflies and learning about what they eat and of course spending time with our friends. Over the last four years, Charlie and I have raised four different rounds of baby chicks to maturity. And once we got to our new property and moved all of the chickens over as well, we got our new coop built and then we had to introduce all of our flocks together so they could all be in our main pen. And even though we have two roosters in this pen, we haven't had much bullying. We do have our meat birds, the American breast chickens in a separate coop and they get moved daily. Our big coop gets moved about once a week and we haven't had any issues with bullying. But after dinner, we did have four more chickens to move that were still at my Pawpaw's house and we needed to go pick them up. We got a negative in the pepper. I'm going to pepper sprout. That's the mean one. <laughs> 
the four chickens that we were still waiting to move are the meaner ones and we knew that there was three we definitely wanted to get rid of this little hen is the only one we're keeping and she was being bullied which does happen with chickens but i felt so bad for her so we went ahead and got some supplies we're going to turn the old playhouse into her own little rehab station and we're going to just spoil her with fresh food probably give her some fruit and extra things that the other chickens don't get and keep her separated from the other flock until she is fully well she's looking better her feathers are coming in she looks cleaner yeah i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you we do this every day and I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two 